Hello, everybody. My name is... Oh, Jesus Christ. God dang it. Okay. There you go. Okay. Anyways. Hello, everybody. My name is Emiliano Morales, and today we're going to review the Godzilla X-Con, the new Empire Godzilla Involved from Playmates. The details on this dude is good. And I especially like how it looks. But there's some... Let's just get over it with it. This new Godzilla Involved design is a bit skinnier than how he was. I'm not saying I do not like the design in the film. I actually do kind of like it, but... He's a bit slimmer than usual. Unlike the 2021 Godzilla vs. Complimates, he looks a bit of the same usual as the 2019, and he's a bit of fattish. But this one is a bit skinnier than usual. And the thing, he has longer arms than the 2021. I don't know if the volume is longer, or I don't even know. But but the thing that I do not like about the figure is about his... The, let's just talk about it. I don't like when like his stomach is like this, like he has this big gap. I don't know why he has that, but that's the only thing I don't like about the design. I do like the design, but there's just this. Let's talk about the paint eclipse and the details on the dorsal plates. The color that they use for this one is a bit of a darkish bluish. It, it doesn't ruin it. It kind of fits on him. But it does, the color does kind of fit him, but I wish it was a different color, but I'm not complaining. I do kind of like the color, but just, I wish they can, yeah, I, I don't have nothing to say. Let's take a look at his, the details on his face. The details on his face is just, just like a Playmates figure. The 2021 head sculpt looks a bit smaller and looking, I don't know, like he has this bald spot, like this shinyish spot. And I do, I do like this little design, but it's just the head. I don't like the head for this one. But I kind of like this head design a lot, a, a lot better. But I don't know why they painted those huge eyes. Like they didn't detail it, but a hey, but a hey, it's not collectors. It's just a toy for kids. So I got I got this dude just because I wanted to. So yeah. Let's talk about the dorsal plates. I don't know why, but playmates always just like the the dorsal plates in here looks boring. But until it goes over here. It gets a lot better until we reach to the tail. No. I don't know why Playmates always does that. They don't do it on the neck or the tail. Even heck, the giant Godzilla could do it, did it way much better. Here's what I'm saying. Like I was saying, it goes bad and it goes too good, you know, which is a tail bad but but the big version it goes good and all the way over here good and all the way to the tail half of the tail goes to good and then it goes to bad like i do kind of like it but why can't why they couldn't do it for this one the they could they did it for the big one for the big version of this small one, they could even do it on the neck or the tail. Probably because of its size. Let's just take a look at the arms. His arms is a bit larger than usual. I actually do kind of like the design, but this one is a particular small. And I actually don't like that, but... Yeah, it, this is how the figure was packaged. Like this. I tried my best how it was. You see here, this one was just glued on. They made... 
let's just talk about the articulation. I don't know why I did this. <sighs> let's just go to the articulation. So, the articulation on this dude is simple. So, he has a swivel in the head, hinge in the mouth, yeah, a hinge in the mouth, a rotation on the arm, same for this one, and it can go rotate and has rotated in the feet. For this you can make him sit, you can make him fly. Whee! Anyways, and he has a rotation of feet, surprisingly. That's something. And here's the tail. I don't, in the head, in the tail range is the ball joint. It is a bit tight, and it keeps the range of the movement. I don't like the range on the movement on this tail. I prefer, I prefer the 2021's version, uh, version, because in here, I can move it freely. Like I can move it whatever I want. I can make it flap everything. It did not. It was not tight. I could just move it all I want. But. But this, oh my god. But, oh my god. Jesus. Ah! Okay, I fixed it, okay. But, okay, for, for this one, is not that good of a range. But I do like it. I do like it, but it's not like much more movement on the 2021. So, yeah, that's the articulation that he has. Let's go size comparison. Here is... The NECA Space Goji from Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla. The NECA King Goji from King Kong Godzilla, the old version. Here is the NECA Re Godzilla 1984, The Return of Godzilla. And the Bandai Godzilla 2000. And here is the Playmates Godzilla vs. Kong. These two look super different. We done with side comparison, and let's compare these two. And Bob Godzilla is this one, but he changed. There's a lot of difference on this dude. He changed. This one used to be a bit of fetish. The Alval version is the is slimmer, and his legs were a bit thick. But the Alval one's legs are a bit slimmer. And his head is a bit smallish, a little bit small. But here is a bit is a bit taller. It's a bit a little bit big. And the doors of the place of the Godzilla change the nineteen fifty four doors of place that he has. And here is the involved doors of plates. So yeah. Accessories, he does have an accessory and a, and an atomic breath, but I don't know where it is. Is it in my room or somewhere over there? I don't know. So, yeah. So, the question is, should you get this dude? Absolutely. You get a lot of stuff upgraded. You get the hinge arms, the details on this dude, and the price is $20. Well, of course, it's a Kids toys for ages and up. So yeah. That's all I have to talk about for this dude. So yeah. Let's just roll out the... Yeah. So yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed this cringy review. It wasn't... This video is a bit awkward. It's just because there's absolutely nothing to talk about this figure. Well... He has a suggestion, so yeah. Tomorrow I'm gonna review something different. Stay tuned for that. So yeah, and make sure to vote which figure you want me to review uh, next week. The NECA Jason vs. Freddy or the Ultimate Frankenstein. I will announce the winner next week on the Monday. So yeah, make sure to vote. And have a good day. We're not doing this again.